And it feels so good to be back. Super bittersweet to be here. Uh, I want to talk about that in a minute. But first, I want to go and preach in this service. Attendance is kind of low these days with all the crises, gas crisis, and kidnapping in the streets and stuff. But we got we got about 30 people here right now, and and they tell me that folks are going to keep trickling in, so that'll be good. I'm going to preach this morning on Psalm chapter 1. Not really an Advent message, Christmas message, but I'm looking forward to preaching. I miss this place so much. What he's talking about is the whole counsel of God, is the whole revelation of God. Blessed is the one who engages in an intentional way the instruction that has come from God. That's what he's saying here. And he says, <laughs> Good morning, Monday morning here. I have a meeting that I need to be in, and it's online. So I'm going to go down to the seminary and take it because I don't have internet at the house. There's not really much sense in reconnecting it right now. So go do that man it has been so good to see our people I'm not gonna put them on the camera just because of the security issue here but um, man it's been so good to see people <laughs> Just getting home now from the meeting. Great meeting today. I had some friends come here to the house while I was gone and they made me some Haitian food while I was gone. It's Haitian rice and beans, diri kole. This is rice mixed with beans. And then on top, we have um, legume, which is like a vegetable kind of stew that goes on top. And sometimes you put sauce on top of that too. So I'm gonna sit here, enjoy this, enjoy the view, and a good day. It, it's been really sad to see how much things have changed even since we left a few months ago. The situation really has gone downhill. And it's one thing to read about Haiti in the news. It's another thing to be here and, and hear what the people themselves are saying. There are a couple of themes that keep coming up and, and I wanna share those with you. One theme is the theme of education. If you think about it, Haiti has been in crisis now for five years. I don't think we've actually had a full uninterrupted school year here in Haiti over the past five, six years. Uh, every single year, there have been multiple months of time where students have not been able to go to school. It's essentially, you have a whole generation of children now who have missed out on their foundational levels of education. The other thing, and this will come as no surprise to you, is the security issue. Uh, we used to talk about Port-au-Prince in terms of green zones and orange zones and red zones. And red zones are those zones that you don't go to. Those are the bad areas. Right now, as we sit, I don't think you could say there is one single green zone in the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area. All of those zones now have kind of mushed together so that you are at high risk now anywhere you go in this city. Even here in Upper Delma, where I'm sitting right now, last month businesses were receiving letters of extortion with a bullet in the envelope saying pay up or else. That's happening right here now, and that never used to be that way before. And one of the saddest things, and this, this actually stirs up righteous anger in me, to be honest with you, is that the people that are suffering are not the ones who are causing the problems. Okay, so I'm flying back to the States tomorrow and I have a fairly long list of things I need to get done today before I go. <laughs> One thing I did not have on the list was this. Now I'm gonna fix the tire. Like the third trip.
trip I've had to make to our local tire guy. <laughs> that tire is used up. I'm gonna drop this tire off, let him fix it, and then come back and get it after. Well, I'm heading back to the States this morning. I haven't vlogged a whole lot on this trip, partially because I've been so busy and partially too because I don't want to risk putting anybody else on camera with me. But I've had a tremendously productive time here. Um, it's been good to be back. Okay, so... Ah, Haitian coffee is the best. I'm gonna hop on the plane here in a couple minutes, head back to the States. Not super excited about that because Becca tells me there's snow up there. Keep praying for Haiti. When you read the news, let me ask you this. If you, if you read an article about Haiti or if you see something on the news, when you're done, when you click off of it, would you just pause for a couple seconds and, and pray for God to do something miraculous here in Haiti? Uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, we'll see you in the next one when I'm back in the States. All right, bye-bye.